It's time for round three of our All Mixed Up All-Star Challenge. The previous All Mixed Up chants are going to battle it out over the course of three episodes as they have to prepare three diverse dishes, an appetizer, an entree, and a dessert. Cameron, Emin, and Seth will be presented with three unique ingredients selected by our judges. Hold on, boys and girls, it's gonna get crazy. Unexpected challenges will be thrown at the contestants during each round, and it is up to them to make the right decisions in their quest to creating the ultimate dishes. And at the end, only one will emerge undefeated. Once again, the all mixed up kitchen was in full swing as our contestants overcame major obstacles during the entree round. Cameron Bevan is still leading the pack with a total of 170 stars. But Emin Eugenio is closing the gap and made up some ground with a total of 158 stars. Trailing in third place is Seth Anderson coming in with a total of 117 stars. Well, hello, All-Stars. In just one moment, I'm going to reveal to you the three ingredients that you're going to be using to make three unique dishes of your own creation and present to the judges for your attempt to win $2,000. You're going to be judged on taste and presentation on a five-star scale system. At the end of today, we're going to tally up all your stars, and one of you is going to be the all-mixed-up All-Star champion and walk out the door with $2,000. And your three ingredients are Mariani, dried apricots, Domino, and CH, all natural light cane sugar and stevia blend, and Zacon hickory smoked bacon. Are you ready? Good yes, sir. Let's cook. Our all stars will embark on the dessert round. It's all or nothing when we come back. The title for All Mixed Up, All-Star Champ is up for grabs, and our three contestants are fearlessly pursuing the grand prize of $2,000. Cameron. Emin. Yes, sir. Seth. Are you ready for your dessert round? Oh, yeah. Your ingredient is Mariani dried apricots. I'm going to give you 20 minutes on the clock, and your time starts now. Ralph, sets the time for only 20 minutes. But how could this be possible? It's so hard to make dessert within 20 minutes. I felt like challenged. I felt like really challenged to make this dessert. You know, this is supposed to be, you know, a, a, a real challenge. It's not supposed to be a Betty Crocker make pancakes competition. Hey, Cameron, how what you, you got here, baby? Ha, uh, putting together a little yeah. something special. I'm kind of going a little a la minute at this point. Okay, on, so. you got a little bacon going on with that. Everything's Always. better with bacon. Everything. <laughs> right now, I'm still, uh, I'm still in third, which is not where I want to be. It's comeback season. This is looking good. And whose is this? That's me. Oh, nice. A little bacon, some tarragon to get that good mm. rustic licorice flavor. Nice. My dish, it's a mimosa poached apricot shot with a foamy cream and then some crystallized mint on top. Oh it's gonna be a, it's like an apricot shot with some good uh, brown sugar glazed nuts. My dessert is poached apricots with currants with a uh, sponge cake in the middle and on the side is a mint grapefruit sorbet as a palate cleanser. I'm doing a poached mm. apricot with nice. Moscato wine. Mm. I, I'm also so making, sweet. yeah. Nice. I'm also making a short cake. It's in the mm. oven right now. I used one of the molds. I tried to put all my cakes there and all the cake batter ticked on the mold. Oh, cook. They seem to have all these things measured out so wonderfully, you know, down to the grams. 20 minutes we're talking about here, so let's be realistic, okay? Some of these dishes that are being put out, a little, hmm, you know, I'm not mentioning any names like Emmons. 20 minutes and you're putting out a dish like that, it sounds like everything has already been pre-mixed. I tried my very best to create a three or maybe four different components in one plate. All you're seeing me do, whacking out freaking containers of things, cutting it open, just explosion tactic. If you, if you need to measure out your flour, you suck. If you have to measure out, you know, your salt, you suck. If you have to measure all this stuff out and you can't just figure it out, you suck. You know what? I do that real shit. 
I do that real chef shit. This isn't a game to me. This isn't, you know, like mommy and daddy bought me a restaurant, bro. Mm -mm. For you, I have a mimocha poached apricot shot. And the, the touch of a little dried mint on top yeah. Yeah. really enhances yeah. the flavor. My first thought was, mm, not so much because I got a mouthful of cream. Right. Yeah. But I think, you know, when I took my spoon and dug inside mm. and said, well, let me taste the apricot. Where is that? Where are you? Now I'm impressed. Right. I made for you a poached apricot, a foam of zabaglione, a brulee, as well as a grapefruit sorbet with mint. After 20 minutes, they did, he did all this. It's pretty, pretty impressive. I also taste the cinnamon. That's a nice touch. We have a uh, almond and kind of like a fromage fraiche kind of uh, stuffed Mariana dried apricot along with um, my own secret little coolie. The Mariani apricot is fantastic yeah. in this. Especially with the Zaycon Foods bacon. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, really. All right, gentlemen, this is the dessert round, and this star of the show is the Domino CNH Light All Natural Sugar and Stevia Blend. Now, this should be a wheelhouse play for you right now. I'm asking you to use a sweetener to make something sweet. You would think that'd be pretty simple, right? I think it's pretty simple. I think it's so simple that I'm gonna have to mix it up a little bit. Maybe he's trying to, you know, have us cook up some cow testicles or something, you, you know, and add it to our dessert. You never know with Ralph. First things first, I'd like to collect all your tools right here, please. I need all your tools. This is your tools? I already know how this is going down. And the tools that you'll be using to prepare your dessert is? I'm faced with having to make a nice dessert with sandbox toys. <laughs> oh my God, it's a joke. You'll be able to trade some stars for some tools. So let's just say you need a whisk. I got one for sale. What about ice cream makers? Wow, ice cream, an ice cream maker would cost you a couple of stars. Gentlemen, I'm gonna have 30 minutes on the clock. Your time starts now. He decides that he's gonna give us a little, a little advantage. Need to buy a knife. In my left hand, I have free plastic knives. You're all entitled to one of them. That's one's for you, that one's for you, and that one's for you. He hands us a plastic knife, a picnic knife. And I'll sell you a dinner knife for one gold star. I know I'm gonna use watermelon. I'll take the butter knife. One gold star, going once. Going twice. If you don't take it right now, it's going to become two stars. I'll take it right now. I needed a RoboCoop to make the perfect silky puree. Would you like to rent that RoboCoop? Yes, sir. Oh, yes, you can, because he has politely. So I had to sacrifice stars for it. I ended up giving up four stars. Anybody looking for an ice cream machine? Because all of these toys that were given to us, I had to, like, improvise something. Would you like to buy a spoon? Oh, no, chef. I think it's work. It's... Would you like to buy a whisk? No. You sure? Yeah. Instead of using a wooden spoon, mixing. I gotta use my hands. Wow, looks colorful and beautiful. So what we get here with our Domino Light and CNH Light? It's gonna be a chilled prickly pear soup. So what we get in here? I am making like an interpretation of mochi and a purple yam ice cream using your Domino Light sugar. I have the ice cream here churning at the bottom. Hold on a second, Rosie. Joe? Rosie, I'm sorry, I just I just overheard something. Okay. Are you using the ice cream machine? Yes. Did you rent that? Did you yeah. ask to rent that? No. Wow. Anybody looking for an ice cream machine? Evan, that's gonna cost you some stars. And I think ice, ice cream machine is not a tool. It's an equipment. That's gonna be a five star penalty for Evan for not asking to use the ice cream machine. You can't just tell the judge you're making ice cream right in front of the chef. Can I use this one? Do I have to sell a star or rent this one? It's just a stick. I, I keep asking him if I can use the stick. He said yes, it's free. How about a glove? You can use a glove. What you're enjoying is a prickly pear soup with a lime and vanilla bean creme fraiche. It is very different and the, it, I can't describe what it is. This is like dessert, but it's, it's strange drinking a dessert soup. Yeah, I'm, I'm not enjoying it. 
I actually have a watermelon cake. Watermelon, the cream actually makes that really delicious. What was a little strange to me is that as I'm crunching the, the almonds, I think I'm crunching a seed. I made for you like a mochi balls with mung bean stuffing inside. And I also made a twill cookie for you on the side, a purple yam ice cream with coconut strings. You gotta try it. Don't tell me what, what I'm eating. Wow. Don't tell me it's veal brain. And the, the purple yam also has a little sweet that the, together with the Domino Light mm -hmm. CNH Light mm -hmm. gave the perfect sweet mm. to, the, to the dessert. You can feel the excitement in the air. So stay with us, we'll be right back. Welcome back to All Mixed Up, All-Star Edition. You're gonna be introducing Zaycon hickory smoked bacon into a dessert. I couldn't be any more excited. In fact, it makes me feel like a kid all over. So I want you to feel like a kid, Cameron. I want you, Emin, to feel like a kid. And right. Seth, you too, to feel like a kid. Thank you, Chef. So I'm gonna give you an opportunity as children <laughs> to catch 15 gold stars right now. Puzzle. Ralph brings puzzle pieces. Gentlemen, <laughs> here are the pieces to your puzzle. Sort out your shot and get it going. We have to put a, a child's puzzle together while the clock is running. The first one to complete the puzzle accurately gets 15 gold stars. You have 30 minutes on the clock and your time starts already. I'm so tired, we're all tired, and now we have to do this mind game. And as they round the first turn, Jungle and Friends and Cam and his lion seem to be putting together the right side of the puzzle. I knew I was down, so I started just taking puzzle pieces that didn't look like mine and hiding them. There was jungle pieces that somehow ended up over on Seth's board. Where's... That's not my normal character, but I figured, eh, it's the end. And down! He gets 15 stars. Uh, Evan, I'd be cooking if I were you. Oh, I'm really glad that I finished, I solved the puzzle first. What is this? What is this? No, this is wrong. Seth completes his with my puzzle pieces. Where's all my pieces? I'm missing. I ended up finishing my puzzle, but then I took a second look at it, and some of the pieces were just like kind of sh like just shoved in there and slammed in there, and it, just, it wasn't my puzzle pieces. No, 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 those aren't right. Look See, look, that's it coming from out of there. I think this is right. Shoot. Seth is still having trouble <laughs> with it, finding the direction and the puzzle piece. <laughs> Big doof. 15 stars goes to Emin, and no stars go to Seth. In fact, he might get fined for cheating. So I didn't get any stars. We're in the bacon round. Hold on, boys and girls, it's gonna get crazy. This is as intense as it gets. This is the last one. Lord knows if it's actually gonna make a difference or not. But I'm not gonna, no, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna fail. Cameron. Yeah, how you doing, boss? Good, how are you? Right now, I'm putting together what I like to call a parfaitoire. Parfaitoire. <laughs> What's that mean? <laughs> it's a sexy <laughs> dish for sure. I'm really ambitious in creating, you know, desserts. I'm also gonna make a bacon dust. How do you make a bacon dust? You have to infuse like the bacon pieces with maltodextrin. It's on the molecular gastronomy side. I just hit this southern spark, so I went Cajun with it. 11 minutes left, Seth. How are you making out? I have to go with a plan B. It's easy being a pastry chef. It's easy making desserts. When all else fails, add booze. Hi, guys. Evan, how you doing? I'm trying to like, I'm lost. I finish, and then I'm like, oh, snap. No, I'm not done. I forgot something. We're running down to the seconds. I had a crisp bacon with sugar. I made chipotle chocolate cake, and I also made a chipotle chocolate ganache. Are you kidding me? Great. He's taken our Zaycon Foods bacon and he's made it better, period. Mm -hmm. Bacon four ways, that's nice. This right here is just what I'm calling my uh, parfaitoire. It's actually coming with the fresh squeezed orange juice mimosa on the sunset. 
Is it, it is not ice cream. No. Oh, it's it coffee. It's cream. It's like but it's cream. coffee. Yeah. It looks like butter to me. Yeah, it's, it's a little heavy. Something the that I would just mm -hmm. spread on my bread. The consistency is butter, yeah. too. Yeah, it might yeah. be over whipped cream. For this round, I have a chipotle chocolate filled beignet that incorporates the bacon, of course. I don't know what this beignet thing is, but that's a scone. <laughs> that's good, though. I like it. The only thing that is, mm. it, it is not, it's not cooked. There is some raw dough inside of it. After three intense rounds, our contestants have delivered using hickory smoked bacon, sugar and stevia blend, and dried Mediterranean apricot. Who will take home the title of all mixed up champ? Now, they're at the mercy of the judges. The all-star champ will be crowned after this. All three contestants have prepared three different desserts in this final and conclusive round. Cameron, you did an almond fromage. I thought you did a fantastic job with the Mariani apricots. In fact, my complaint was to everybody, I didn't get enough, and I wanted their portions. You did a mimosa poached apricot. It may be a little bit too much cream I wrote here because when I tried to drink it, I, I initially did not, did not taste the apricots. Uh, I think you brought it with this. Definitely got a home run on that. That was just awesome. The apricot was clearly the star. The only thing was the sponge cake was a little bit dry. It didn't bother me that much because it did provide a little bit of textural contrast. Whatever happened there, it worked because it was delicious, presentation was great. The sweetness of it was really light and uh, everything played beautiful. The nuts, it was a little odd because when I was crunching it myself, I'm thinking, you know, I'm crunching seeds. It was just sort of strange. Watermelon cake, awesome. Mm -hmm. I liked it. I think that the nuts were great. I don't know what the problem is with these two. <laughs> Seth, I like the sweetness on your dish with our product, but I couldn't figure out really what was in there. I. I I think that it was a little too sweet, but you know, I like the cream in the middle. I think if you added more cream to it, it could help with the, the not being too sweet. Yeah, man, your dish was great. I loved the way you presented it. And the, you put in separate sauces that we could define each one. The rice balls, I was not really crazy about it. I really enjoyed it, and I liked the fact that you had two different colors, and uh, as far as the ice cream, it was uh, spot on. It was very good. I was excited to eat it because it was sort of a breakfast theme, and then the bacon was really good. I think the cream was a little too heavy. I was hoping it was a little lighter. This dish, I was a little disappointed. It really felt like a spread that you could use on, on a piece of toast. Seth. Yes, sir. So you prepared what they call a beignet. I thought it was uh, a little bit too greasy, um, but, it, but that's what you get when you have something, you know, fried. I'm glad that you incorporated the bacon and the chocolate. That was, that was really good. I enjoyed that. There was bacon fat in the dough. Um, it just wasn't too, too super palatable to me. Some of the dough was a little undercooked. Unfortunately, the piece of the, the, the one that I had was completely raw. Yeah. To me, what you did to that bacon was awesome. <laughs> I mean, seriously, I was talking, I took pictures of it. I was like, I haven't done that in this whole competition. I was just thinking, man, if you could just put a stick on that and you could have a bacon thing and you give it to kids. <laughs> bacon, 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 the vanilla rum ice cream. I mean, it was just... Super creative. I wrote wow on my paper. All stars, you put on quite a performance over the last three weeks. Let's get this started. Coming in in third place with a total of 176 gold stars is Seth. You did a great job, Seth. And a score of 241 gold stars to 220 gold stars. The winner is... Evan. Yes! I'm only 20 years old, there's a lot more to come. America, come on, we know what's going on. Yeah, man, I'm the winner, all mixed up. All-Star Edition, season four. Got it. Take a shot. 
Good job, buddy.